This video will demonstrate how to enhance a silt test.NET script by adding a verification. Similar to my previous verification visual test video, this example will also evaluate a user-defined condition and send a pass or field message to the results. This video I will use the verification example provided in the silt test workbench.NET script tutorial. This tutorial is available for download on the support line website. This example uses our auto quote website. I am now playing back a short pre recorded script that goes through an auto quote process. I will then edit this test and add a verification to my script. On the automobile instant quote summary page, I'm going to verify that the DOM element containing the model is actually correct. Going back to my .NET script, I will now build my verification. I will first create a string variable that will hold the value of the model DOM element. I will now use the silt test workbench objects by to get the x path of the model control and place the value in my new variable using the getText method. I'll now script a click on the model control and add the verification. The verification is added using the workbench.verify function. This takes three parameters, the expected value, the actual value which is contained in our model parameter and an optional message telling us that if the verification passed. I'll now replay the test to test our verification steps. With the test complete, I'll now go to the results, click on the details tab, scroll down to my verification step, and see that the verification has passed. I can also see this from the Pass tab. This concludes my video on inserting a verification into a silt test workbench.net script.